Hi guys, this video um, just going to look at quite a lot of topics um, just on the theme that I've mentioned that Satan can't do anything except uh, that the Lord says it's alright and I'll get some scripture for that just to prove that okay what you got here is uh, known as Satan's first attack on Job and uh, basically the, the, the first part of this is in the heavenlies and uh, God actually boasts to Satan um, has thou considered my servant Job that there is none like him in the earth a perfect and an upright man one who fears God and escheweth evil okay so obviously Job doesn't realize that this is happening because what happens is Satan um, basically what wants uh, God to stop his protection upon him so that Satan can attack him and he's only allowed a certain level of attack okay so so God has the one is the one with the power you know without God's protection on this earth um, this earth wouldn't wouldn't be anymore it's because that that we still the human beings on this earth are the are probably one of the main or the main reason that God hasn't just allowed Satan to destroy the world <clears throat> even though that Jesus says in the last days you know shall be cut short for the sake of my elect otherwise no no flesh shall be saved in other words Satan would be successful in destroying the earth okay um, and so uh, you, you got to understand you know um, it's, this is Job losing his health here because he's only been allowed to go to go a certain level in order that God may be glorified so any attack on your life anything that's happening just now just remember it's so that God can be glorified okay and uh, I think it's important for the saints yes to, to remain in prayer like not all of us know all the answers but uh, you know if we have God on our side then who can be against us? Again, this is for those of us who know the Bible, who study the Bible, who know this to be true. You know, it's very, very important to know who you're praying to. And as Jesus says to the woman at the well, we Jews know who we are worshipping. We, we Jews know who we are praying to. So they don't have idols or statues, but they know it's the creator of the universe. And uh, the pagans, however, they'll pray to start using idols and their theory behind it is well we're not actually praying to the statue but we know that this goddess or god exists even though it's uh, described in the bible as the destroyer and yet you get all the buddhists and all, all of that they meditate and they actually do worship idols and they do pray to these so-called deities but they're they're actually children of the fallen angels. I mean, yes, fallen angels can translate into any shape, but uh, I would speculate this is this was a Nephilim that probably existed in India before the flood. Um, and uh, yes, the uh, it still manifests itself um, through through demonic power, and uh, because they're physically no more until a scientist go you know finds a part of this. Uh, Nephilim um, preserved somewhere and then you know uh, produces it you know in a lab somewhere then the, this thing still operates in, in the spiritual realms but can you imagine you know if they are producing a lot of these Nephilim in a lab somewhere and that that's part of the, the final judgment and the tribulation that a lot of these things are released um, you know uh, so yes um, these are demons or these are the gods of the pagans okay and if the pagans want to trust in these gods let them if they don't want to understand who Jesus Christ is and yes the Catholic Church is really distorted um, how to know God you know a soul must be born again which means that you throw away all your idols and I've heard Catholics argue 
that oh see they're doing the same things as the pagans the catholics you know this statue is referred to in the old testament um as the queen of heaven that they burned incense to and that they still do today through the catholic church um satan tries to use the catholic church and indeed um you know as i mentioned in another video the jesuits are in control of all the other um um pagan uh, societies on the earth, you know, secret societies. But even they themselves are like lower than a snake's belly. You know, if, if they're the highest of Satan's kingdom, you know, they're, they're not even higher than a snake's belly because they teach people uh, the sin of witchcraft, which is rebellion against God. I don't care how many demons you, you've cast out of your family or friends. If your family and friends still aren't born again baptized, and they're actually a sanctuary for demons. So you can go and cast out a hundred demons every day from your mother, your sister, your brother. Unless these people are born again, baptized, you're absolutely wasting your time. All right? Wasting your time. You know, and the definition of hypocrisy, or even the definition of madness, is basically... Uh, expecting different results and doing the same thing over and over and here um, the the Pope says oh resist idols while he kisses an idol <laughs> you know <laughs> like a little uh, pottery doll and as it rightfully says here the goddess Isis is obviously they've deliberately left that in there but you know they say that it's the Blessed Virgin you know this is how uh, uh, idolaters think well, I'm just doing this in order to remind myself of Mary, the mother of God. But whereas Mary, the mother of God, would not want you to pray to her, would not want you to have any idols of her, if you truly love and respect her, then you follow the God of Mary, who is Yahweh, and you pray to uh, Yahweh in his son's name. That's, that's what we're meant to do. That's the role of the Messiah. Um, is not only to fight against the enemies of born again Israel, you know, as we will see at the second coming, but his role is to redeem our souls from death and hell. I mean, that's that is probably, if not, it could be one of the greatest roles that obviously that in our minds is the greatest role as Christians. But I guess when we see the minions of Satan that are released on the earth very, very soon, as I've been discussing, then you know, the next part of the Messiah's. Uh, um, re redemption plan will be spectacular will be absolutely otherworldly absolutely supernatural spectacular uh, as I've mentioned there are many channels on the Mandela effect this is one of them extol Yeshua always and this is one of the least channels that I look at in fact I've looked at one or two of our videos that I agree with but uh, a lot of stuff that she comes out with is, um, well, I don't agree with. And so I, I really think that she's gone overboard. I think that probably, I don't think she has an agenda. I mean, I don't think that she's like, uh, you know, like a secret uh, society member that's just trying to get people to believe that, you know, God's word can be changed and therefore you know that we, we we shouldn't trust God's word that's not what I think she's trying to do that's not her agenda I, I don't agree with a lot of the Mandela effects that she's found but you know, obviously there's a lot of channels dedicated to the Mandela effect I'll just just look at a few of those just now you know this is a brother that one of his videos he did on the Mandela effect and he got like 10 or 20 times the amount of views on the videos he normally does so it should tell him about the level of interest in this and that there is so many people that have noticed changes and to me that um, I know that he's an advocate of the King James Bible and uh, I still use the King James Bible as well because I, be I believe it's from the correct manuscripts and um, that's the main reason that I use it and the other reason is uh, I, I believe it was translated correctly you know um, but yes uh, people that have used the King James Bible a lot longer than this brother has seen changes in it you know and they are very stable reliable born again Christians and so 
well, this brother stands up. I respect this brother. You know, he's got a lot of good teaching and stuff. But uh, as you can see, I think, uh, nah, um, this is just going too far because this this book, you know, speaks about the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and His word is a living word, and should live inside the saints. And so, I believe that uh, God has allowed this test upon the saints. Okay, it's a little bit like uh, what what I showed you there, the scripture in Job. Um, I, I think that probably um, th there's been some kind of uh, thing in the spiritual realms that God has seen that yes, I mean the King James only so-called controversy is divisive, okay, and it's very important how we handle it. Um, but I think that God really, really wants the the true believers to come together through a spirit of, of grace and a spirit of truth okay and love for the truth and if we're not going to uh, listen to one another or at least if, if we can't um, agree on a Bible and understand there should be continuity within the body but we're, we're there to worship the King of Kings the Lord of Lords and uh, that's the most important thing to remember um, and I think there's a little bit of wisdom in some of the pastors who haven't go, go, gone you know completely King James Bible only because they know there's there's other Bibles out there that have been translated from the correct manuscripts there's not that many there's just a handful okay but um, me as a believer who's who's been born again ba baptized for over 20 years I can see changes in the King James Bible personally okay um, and so just uh, I've, I've went through some of those changes let's look at a few more channels who cover some of those changes okay this is a guy that goes through a lot of the Mandela effects I'm not sure if he's a Christian but certainly a lot of the things he says yes people have noticed changes you know the Kit Kat one was one of the very obvious ones for me um, as well as the bigger, you know, changes in the positions of the countries and the nations of the earth, the the land mass changes and so on. Um, you know, I had a vivid dream that I saw Australia moving north as well, just as another brother that I'll show you also had a dream about. Uh, this brother too here um as one of the guys that have seen a lot of the earth changes and I happen to agree with like a lot of the stuff he says his channel is uh, very much worth subscribing to nobleness d you know a lot of good videos there about JFK um really good videos he's got on that subject so uh you know about the fact that it's a six-seater and all of that stuff really really informative videos very very good videos another good one here is uh, Jacob Israel makes some very good uh, videos there about mentioning the Mandela effect uh, quite intelligent comment as well that he makes about it so uh, yeah, I recommend this channel as well, Jacob Israel. I got to mention too, my brother in the Lord makes some great videos. Um, you know, this guy's born again, and yeah, support this brother too, man. It looks as if he's been well supported as well, and he's got a lot of good videos about the Mandela effect and uh, uh, the news topics today. You know, Kanye West. And again, this is like a, a testament to the power of prayer because I know that a lot of Christians get together and pray for these celebrities, including myself. And so, uh, you know, I prayed for Paul Gascoigne one time and uh, again, I got to speak to him about the Lord Jesus. Mistakenly, I took uh, a demonic brother with me. I should have just went myself. But, you know, th this is the testament to a power of prayer um, that the Holy Spirit can can get um, and touch these people's hearts and touch these people's lives 
and of course they need instructed in, in the truth but I think of obviously they seem to have had um, some kind of divine encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah so yes continue to pray for all these celebrities I think it's probably harder for the, the, the women to get out of, of these things but uh, you see a lot of men that have came out of these things over the decades and uh, you know test, begin to testify about the Lord Jesus Christ and of course there's Fo Helix here who I uh, believe is still making some absolutely fantastic videos um, <laughs> absolutely awesome videos I mean really thought provoking and really done with the spirit of grace as well you can see the, the guy's not trying to hammer out he's you know like the Pharisee spirit like the teachers of the law they try to hammer new converts out you know and all that stuff and this guy is just like a free spirit and the way he gets things across is very very powerful and um, really love this guy really love his channel and stuff and um, you know obviously anyone that's got the amount of truth he does is going to come under attack so we got to continue you know to pray for one another and um, again you know you know Donald Trump uh, nobody saw Donald Trump becoming the president the last time I was in the United States I made a prophecy that the United States would never have a female president so that's this is why I thought Donald Trump would would actually win but also it seems that the there's videos as well that men and women of God have had dreams that God is going to use this man but uh, you know that I think that uh, you got to realize that uh, he's probably went for papal bulls to the Vatican to make war with uh, Saudi Arabia and as you know the bankers make money from wars but again you know God is the one in control of all this you got I reckon that you know Donald Trump is going to take America into a serious war with uh, Saudi Arabia uh, that's that that's what I can already see you know he's trying to obviously say that they're very much part of 9-11 and all that type of stuff um, those that know a little bit more about these things know that the, the Jesuits are pretty much left a, a Jewish guy um, in control of, of, of tower you know the the twin tower complex and that's why a lot of people blame the Jews but um, yeah I mean uh, I think that God is going to use this guy but be aware that the Vatican are involved in this just as they were with Obama okay uh, Obama is more of a Muslim um, and, and he certainly was there to weaken America I think this guy is here to sort of stabilize the ship but he's going to take that ship into some serious battle you got to be aware of that um, so I don't know what the, the brother here is, is, is saying about this I'm going to watch this video after I, after I finish this one so thanks for listening guys and may the Lord bless you and stay in prayer